Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Glad you can all make it. A pretty good turnout. A couple shout outs. Bruce Kirsten's in the house. Engineer Mike, great job last night. Absolutely. Holly Buds, tasty. Zevenbergen is in the house. Hello to everybody else. I'm going to be short and sweet. Why? We have, I'm passing 360 in less than two hours. So I don't want to run my, my mouth too much. I won't have nothing to say. You know what I wanted to talk about today? First thing, take the time to ponder what we have and what we're in and what we're doing. But I also think we need to concentrate on now. Just concentrate on now. Be in the now. Yeah, looking forward is okay, okay? But here's what I'm saying. If you look at a, um, uh, what do you call it, one of those sand clocks, where the sand runs through and the sand at the top and sand at the bottom, that little neck in the middle that's us right now, right? I mean, that's where we're at. What's on the top is what we have left. That's hidden. None of us know what's up there. The sand at the bottom is what we already did. We have no control over that. None. What's coming up top and how long we have, we don't know. Nobody knows. So I'm going to give you an example of something really just to think about. I've heard this many times, but... This is from my own experience. I remember my grandmother, who lived to 102, <clears throat> she told me something about concentrate on today. Time is too valuable to waste on something that might be or worried about something that could be. Her husband, my grandfather, in his late 50s or so, somewhere around there, started complaining about health, kind of doom and gloom, and just was already getting ready to die. Now, he's in his late 50s, 57, 58. And he was a farmer, and she was totally different. She thought, today's great, let's do today, uh, fantastic. He lived 20 more years, over 20, year, 20 more years, I think 25 more years. And she said, look at all the years he wasted talking doom and gloom. What a waste. He said, you don't know. And I'll give you another example. My best friend, back when we were teenagers, we grew up together since we were five years old. Best friend, best, best, best friend. And we had plans what we were going to do when we finished high school, all that. And if I asked him, Back in 1979, in September of 79, how much time do you think you have left? Half a century or more, right? But in reality, he died in a car accident one month later at 19 years old, right? What does it prove? For both cases, what does it prove? Live in the now. The reason I'm bringing this up is not to be Mr. Philosopher, but I want to tell you, a lot of times new items are brought up and I'm passive. None of us, meaning me and you as founders, know the answers. Right? We hear that something's coming. Oh, my God, how does that work? What are we going to do? I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to take longer. I don't understand what it is. Nobody does. 
and we don't need to know. Just because they mention something doesn't need to mean that we need to be experts on that item that they brought up. When it's time, when that sand at the top reaches the now area, which is the next, which is now, we'll know what we need to know. But until it does, don't worry about it. And the same goes for the sand that already went through, the time that already went through that neck. He did, she did, they did. I can't believe it already happened. Let's live now. Let's see how how somebody's acting now, how somebody's living now. Let's treat them now. I did a lot of things at the bottom of that. That that's that sand. What's that called, Don? The, the sand that runs through. What are they called? Hourglass. Hourglass. <laughs> Couldn't take of that word, you believe it? But there's a lot of sand at the bottom of my hourglass that I'm not proud of. Would I want to? Would I want to be judged by that sand today? Some stupid thing I did as a teenager, or something I did, or you know? I mean, I'm just saying. The time we have to worry about is the smallest part of the hourglass. It's that little bitty neck. That neck area is now. Right? Let's concentrate on now. There's nothing wrong with looking ahead and having great expectations. But when it's something that we're going to be involved with and the anxiety builds up of, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Nobody does. That's why it's called new. Some people will tell you and talk to you like they know, but nobody knows. Nobody knows. So when that part of the thing comes through, whether it's uh, KYC or whatever it is, when it hits that area in the middle where the neck is now, whatever now is, we'll know. Just concentrating on things that don't matter doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. And it's a waste of time. There's things we know, but great things. You can put all those together and start building what's coming. But when you hear something that we might need to do, it's nothing. It's simple. Anthony a, a beach. Thank you for the super sticker. But that's what I want to get across. Let's concentrate on now. And right now, we're getting ready for things. But, you know, you were told, make sure your name's okay. Make sure you're logged in. Everything's okay. What we're going to do in a week or two weeks or three weeks you're going to really get all wrapped up in that i'll worry about tomorrow tomorrow I'll get here quick enough let's concentrate on what, what what's going on now same thing with the uh, people i'm sure i've said and done things that upset people or maybe even hurt their feelings. I hope not, but I probably have. I'm judged by only that. That's pretty sad. That's the same for everybody. At least take a percentage. 90% of the time, I'm not a bad guy. Let's look at that, okay? Don't look at the little things. That's called human. We all make mistakes. So let's work together. Don't prejudge. Time is valuable, but only the now time, because I have no guarantee what's left in that sand in the top. In the hourglass of people, that's hidden. We see it coming through, which is good. That means we're still ticking. 
And we don't know how much sand is up there. No. Nobody knows. You turned stuff in? So lighten up. Let's work together and lighten up. And enjoy the ride. Enjoy where we're at. Do the right thing. We're in the best place we can be. Ponder what we have. Look at what we have. Think about what we have. Wrap your head around what we what we know. And every time we go to a webinar, it gets better. Speak the truth. The truth, as corny as it sounds, will set us free. It'll keep us out of trouble. I don't know how much you're going to make. I have no idea. Nobody knows. I know if there's a sale from me, somebody on my sales team sells something, I'm going to get a commission. It's good enough. I know what's being offered to be sold is the best of the best. Can't beat that. I know it's the highest quality. I know it's the highest technology. And guess what? I also know, I also know it's artificial intelligence. It's unlimited. And it will be worked on all the time to make it even better, better, better. That should be enough. Don't worry about any more than that. It's a waste of time. So what is today, the moral of today? Live today, concentrate about today, do the right thing, and if, if, God's will, there's a tomorrow, and we did the right thing today, tomorrow should be pretty darn good. But we're in about seven days, eight days, what if, what, where, why, when, why did he, why did she, let it go. Nobody knows any of us inside. Give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Even if they did a couple dumb things. Right? If you meet somebody that's perfect, the world's over anyway. <laughs> right? So, anyway, love you all. Just been thinking about how people get wrapped up and stuff and Stress out about stuff that don't matter. You're in good hands. We're in a great company. We took a journey. Some of us four years. I'm 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 almost four years. Love every bit of it. Was there times during it that so what? I always looked at where we're going. I didn't look at how long we're gonna get how long it'll take to get there. Why? I have no control over that. It's when you start focusing on things you have no control over that anxiety kicks in. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do my KYC? Don't stress. Nobody knows. But what I know, Robert Tantillo will know, Casey Sevenberg will know, M. Kylie will know, Holly Bugs will know, Crazy Chris Johnson will know. Everyone will know. But until then, who cares? Lighten up. As Terry Nick said, we're in good hands. And it's not even all state. We're in better hands than all state. <coughs> Hello, Gifty. Great job, by the way. Everybody that's stepping up to the plate is blowing me away. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll see you all in an hour and 40 minutes, or an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, I'm passing 360. Come see us. Come see us. Anyway. Have a great time right now. <laughs> I'll see y'all. Bye.